Hello Internet world, welcome to my review of the AEMA A07 TPA3255 Class D power amplifier. This was very kindly sent in free of charge by the manufacturer, no money's changed hands. They haven't asked me to say anything in particular, I'm just sharing with you my experience of using this over the past few weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a Class D power amplifier. It's packed full of great features and really good performance. A two channel design with up to 300 watts per channel output, which is absolutely superb. The lower frequency, the bass output, is so, so impressive with this. Now inside it uses a Texas Instruments TPA3255 chip, a digital audio amplifier, with a bridge power output of 300 watts over the two channels. Also a total harmonic distortion of less than 0.03%, which is very, very impressive indeed. Now the device also features an advanced integrated feedback design and proprietary high speed gate driver error correction, uh, which they've called Pure Path Ultra HD. And what it really means is it, it really refines the audio that it outputs and gives you a very detailed output as well. Very detailed audio experience. Now before I talk to you about the audio quality, let's take a look at what you get inside the box. You get a user manual. It's a very sort of short user manual, just guides you through the various inputs, outputs, and controls. Comes in this plain box, as you can see here. And inside we also get an Ayuma sticker we get a UK power cable. Now, depending upon which country you're buying this in, you'll get a country specific power cable inside the box. We get a multi-voltage AC-DC adapter. So this works 100 to 240 volts with a barrel type connector on this end, which goes into the amp. And then that country specific power cable that I showed you earlier plugs in here. And don't forget, Whichever country you purchase this in, as long as your country is supported, you will get a country specific power cable inside the box. And then this is the full metal casing, uh, IEMA A07. Very, very compact power amplifier, beautifully made. We've got chamfered edges to the front panel, a really nice brushed finish to it. Very, very nice indeed, and some decent rubberized feet on the bottom. On the front here, we've obviously got the volume control. Very smooth indeed. And again, a nice sort of polished edge to it here. And a power switch, a really good, proper power switch. Very, very cool indeed. Then if we look round on the back here, we've got the input for that power supply. We've got the outputs for your speakers, and this drives passive speakers. So we've got obviously a stereo pair of uh, terminals here. And then we've got your input. So this is a, like a phono or RCA input. Again, stereo marked with right and left. We've also got a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, which is really nice to see. Good metal construction on the back and front panels as well. It really feels like a good quality product. It's got some real weight to it and it feels really well made. But the proof really is in what does it sound like? Well, first of all, let's just tackle that 300 watt times two power output. You have to be careful when driving speakers with this because it is super powerful. So do bear that in mind. Check out the power rating of the speakers you're intending to use with this, or just be really careful with the amount of volume you put through them. It is earth shatteringly loud, a very, very, good performance and even though it's extremely loud at full volume i mean i would never drive my speakers at full volume with this but even though it is super super loud you're still getting a lot of refinement in the audio as well really nice detail in mid tones a really uh, sort of all-encompassing uh, sound stage delivered by this it's very authoritative but also really engaging as well and the lower frequencies, those bass frequencies that this delivers are so impressive. Overall, the audio that this produces is in partnership, of course, with the speakers that you connect to the back. So depending on what speakers you're driving, you're gonna get a very, very uh, engaging and pleasing and impressive audio soundstage. This is a tiny box of tricks that performs exceptionally well. And as such, I can definitely 
recommend it. If you want to purchase one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the manufacturer's website. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.